You've been a good boy, Jazzy. We're heading off. Not fun shopping. Milk and orange juice, I think those are the main. And I'm gonna do some editing. Efficient use of time and all that. And I'm also gonna take the opportunity to discuss a little bit of quite interesting Tesla news. Elon Musk threatened recently to do something about people who hog supercharger bays. And now we know what he's planning on doing. A bad <laughs> Wow. And now it's time for me to jump in the back of the car and do some editing while so does the shopping. Brilliant. We both get to do something we really love. Dada. You're going with mummy to go shopping, aren't you, Jasper? I'm gonna keep her on the straight and narrow. Just before I jump in the back and do this editing, following Elon Musk's tweet, the solution they've come up with is to charge people once their charge session has finished. Let's say you pull into a supercharger, you zap the car up to 90%, and then you just sit there for another half an hour. Well, for every minute that you're there, it's gonna cost you 40 cents or 30 pence in the UK. Hey, Sof. Hello. Is the little man coming? You coming, Pixie Sticks? Do you wanna come with mommy? Now there is a five minute grace period. So you've got five minutes to get back to your car and unplug it and, and vacate the supercharger spot. They didn't actually say whether it was going to be based on whether your car is still plugged up and not charging, which is what I think probably makes the most sense, or whether they're planning on basing it on you actually need to move your car after a supercharge. And the reason why I'm particularly personally interested in that distinction is I often don't move my car from a supercharger spot once it's finished charging and it's usually because there's nowhere else easy to park and I'm waiting for Soph to get back to the car and she's taking too long but I'm in the car so if somebody turns up and they want to use my supercharger bay obviously I, I will move before they even have to ask so I'm not really hogging the spot I'm just stopping any inconsiderate petrol or diesel cars from parking there. That's how I like to think of it. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. I think probably what makes the most sense is if they base it on whether you're still plugged in rather than trying to come up with some complicated, you know, once you've unplugged, the car needs to actually be put into drive and move. But I really, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It, that, I, mm. For the sake of a few quid, it might be worth me finding out one day. I'm sure I will find out one day anyway. In terms of how you're gonna wind up paying for this, what Tesla's gonna do is they're gonna bill you for your supercharger overstaying when you go for your next service appointment. I think this is mainly because they haven't yet built in a charging system for superchargers. I think once that goes live, that will probably be the, the route that they take for charging you for it, but I don't know. Apparently they don't want to make any profit from this. They hopefully will never make any money from it, is what they're saying, because they just want people to not hog superchargers. They want to increase supercharger availability by reducing the number of people that just sit there. I'm quite sure that this is going to work. It's certainly going to stop people from parking there all day long for no reason because it'll cost them like $24 or something. As you know, it'll cost them a lot more than that. It'll cost them a lot of money. This is one of the things that I really love about Tesla and I'm pretty sure it's just purely driven by the just going to move forwards actually because I uh, prefer the space ahead to the space behind. Space upgrade. Fantastic. Right, now I've finished doing that. Oh, it's a bit on the dark side now, isn't it? Um, two seconds. There we go. That's much better now, isn't it? Excellent. So where was I going with this? Yes, I think the fact that Tesla can implement something like this so quickly and efficiently is a testament to them as an organization and also to the benefit of having a strong entrepreneur leading the the business it's not something that gm would be able to do it would take them six months to get here it takes tesla about a week elon musk goes hmm, you're right that is a good idea we're working on it a week later 
here you go. You actually see that quite a lot in the design philosophy of their cars. They think that something's a good idea and they basically just implement it. That weekend, you don't get a development pace like that from any other motor manufacturer. There are very few organizations that are as quick on their feet. And it's that speed on their feet that I think really gives Tesla just the most enormous competitive advantage. I think it's probably time for me to jump in the back now and do a little bit of that editing. Yup. I asked Sophie to get me two things. Orange juice and mini Battenbergs. She forgot to get both of them. Excellent, well at least that's that problem solved. Now I think we're going to go out and have some pizza tonight. Yeah! Because it's been at least 24 hours since we last had any. Now we're going out for pizza. You're not supposed to be having baby bells. Ugh. Get him out of the house before we eat anything else. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. I'm not going to eat anything now. No, you're right, you're not. Okay, nice little town this. I don't think I've ever eaten here before. Yeah, mummy's got inside. In you go. Inside here. There we go. We had a restaurant and customers like us turned up. I'd be tempted to just shut up shop. Come on, Jazzy. Oh, dearie me. Or a prosciutto e fungi on a VI base. I don't know what a VI base is, but it looks good. VI base. That's the one. Better than our usual Pizza Express. <laughs> Do something a bit different. Jasper, no, come on, control your child, son. Pizza or pasta, Jasper? Have you decided what you want, Jasper? Yeah, we're ready to order, I think. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Fantastic. Great living in a surveillance state. Did you know Tesla are charging if you overstay in um, a supercharger? No. You don't unplug and move the car. Are you kidding me? So there you go, you're going to have to make sure you get back much more promptly from now on. It's freezing out tonight and foggy and I'm very excited about being warm and toasty in the car. What's that? Warm and toasty. Yeah. Daddy has been hit by the fogginess. Yeah, they've been hidden by the fogginess the stars have. Well, one thing's for sure, based on the look on So's face, she's not impressed by the new uh, idle fees that Tesla are but going to be charging. To come in but I actually think it's a perfectly reasonable thing for them to do and hopefully we don't actually have to move out of the space and I can yeah. just continue to sit in the car and move it if I need to because it is handy to not have to just like constantly be hunting for spaces around the place because your wife wants to go shopping. Not that that ever happens. I hope you've all enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it share it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye! How would you feel if I was out all of Sunday? How nuts do you think I am? Not very nuts. Am I nuts enough to drive to Dundee in Scotland for a supercharger opening tomorrow? Yes! Oh my god! I am that nuts! Oh okay, there's a real vote of no. nutty confidence. No, no, you're not.